what I call the aerial wing midge. Basically it's tied, the wing is tied with the, what they call TMCO aerial dry wing, which is a, a synthetic fibre that has a hollow. You can see there's the fibre there, as it shows you the diagram that's, that's actually hollow, but it floats extremely well. Now the colour I'm going to be using is white. Now the hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B160 size 14. This is a, as you see, a trout medium short shank. The shank's equivalent to a size 16. Just get the wide gape of a 14. It's a great wee hook, it's good for dry flies and a few other things. The thread I'm using is the uni thread in black. We simply start at the eye of the hook and take it down to a 3 mil. And we tie in an extra small silver wire and we tie it onto the bare hook. Just catch it at that point there. And then just work your thread down and round the bend. Just come round the bend slightly. And then come back up three or four turns. For the body I'm going to be using just dyed black pheasant tail. And about four or five fibres. Just pull them from the, the stem. And then I'm going to catch them with a single turn and pull it in towards the taper the tip of the actual fibre. Which is so when you wind this up, the fibre will get thicker as you go and give you that tapered body. Maybe slight, but it still gives you a nice taper. And this is the weakest fibre, so I'm going to wind this the opposite way. I wind all the other materials on, like my thread and my wire. The wire will catch in more of the fibre and make it much stronger and last longer. Now all I do is come across the, uh, the pheasant tail with a single turn and then I turn onto the hook do that again. And that locks it in and stops it rolling back or pulling back. Because what's going to hold this on is the, the fine wire. Now you're looking for one, two, three, four, five full turns all the way up. Cross your thread and just carry on down with your thread to the eye. Stop at that point there. Bend and break it off. It's important that you make sure you wax on your thread especially on the area where you need to tie in a lot of things. And bring it back up to where you, le le you need at least 2 mil from the, for the hackle wing and legs on this fly. Now I've tied two legs here and I've tied a knot on both. And I want to tie them on the top. There we go, just so that they sit. Quite long, you want no long. One either side. Get the length, and if they're a wee touch long, they are. I'm just going to pull them in, both together. There we go. Now, you see, you need them long because this is a skating fly. Now, what I'm going to do here, and I've tried this on tails, and it works a treat. I'm going to be trying it on these legs as well. Now, this is bug bond, and this is a light. I'm going to use my, my dubbing needle because you can apply it much lighter with it. All I'm going to do is put some onto the needle and then lightly run it along the legs. Spreads very easy the, the bug bond and put a wee tiny drop at that point where you've tied it in and do the same on the other side. Just to run it along. All the way up to the end and then tie it, just do the same on there. Now yeah, that's fine. Now bug bond stays flexible when it's dry. Just come in with your torch and set it. I'll show you once it's once I've set the, the resin, I'll show you how much you can actually move the legs. It doesn't crack or go white, it stays nice and flexible. Now when I tied them on the mayfly leg, uh, tails, they just outlasted the, the standard fibre. So you should try it, give it a go, see what you think yourself. And there we are. Now you can see, it's very flexible, moves, perfect, that's what you're looking for. And then trim away the excess. Now what I'm going to do is, I've got some aero wing here. This is a single, if you look at it, when you take it off, Basically you can split it into four, 
And that's just cut a length off. That's thick enough for this fly. Yeah, I'm just going to straighten it up. Now the air wing floats extremely well. So it's it's very good fibre to use. It's just a short wing. You want about... If you're looking at the full length of the... the, the say if you imagine the legs. There's a the full length of the legs. I would say around about a third. Just to give you an idea. Scratch it on the top. And then throw away the excess. Again, make sure you've got wax on your thread at this point. Make sure you tie it down. Bring your thread back up. Now what I'm going to do here is make sure that's just a wee bit too long. So trim it. I'm going to split the, the arrow wing and the legs. I mean, obviously I'm going to have the legs either side with the wing. Just make it like it, so it's going to be like 45 degrees, I'll show you. Coming away, and then I'm going to figure eight through that, including the legs. I'm basically tying the legs onto the side of the wing. You want to do that two or three times. Nice and tight. There we are. And the legs in the right position. And you can see the move with the wing. And there we are. Let's see, make sure I've got everything right. Nice and tight. You could post them a wee bit more if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I like it just the way it is. There we are. That's better. Now we tie in a cock hackle. In this case, this is a saddle hackle dyed black. It's one of the, it's a bronze grade whiten. And I'm just going to catch it on the side with the underside of the feather facing forward. And then what I'm going to do is wind one turn in front of the other all the way down. That's three, four, five turns is plenty. Cross your thread. Now I usually take the thread to the eye and then fold the hackle back. Just bringing the thread up from the eye nice and tight. And then break away. Well, just hold the thread nice and tight and you can break it off. And then come in with the whip finishing tool. One, two, three, four turns. Trim away the thread. Now you could leave the fly as it is just now. I mean, fish it as well like that. But I like to obviously I like to skate this fly. And the easiest way to do that to trim away underneath. Now if we just bring the vice upside down I normally like to take it off but just to so you can see what I'm doing come in and cut this kind of small window in it and see how it's sitting. There we go. So it sits flat and then you can pull it. I'll just lift the leader and it'll skate and that causes the fish to come up and have a go. And then just come in, all you have to do is a wee bit of varnish into the head, all the way around. And that's what I call, this is the arrow wing ridge pattern. You see, there's a, the legs are separated and tied partly into the roots of the wing.